I'm currently processing kumquats that we got from our neighbor's tree a few weeks ago before the freeze. And I'm gonna make marmalade today. The yeah, and Lucy's in the background. Uh, she's learning to hang out and not always just be constant go go go. So that's really nice. But the uh, processing of the kumquats is really tedious. So I really hope that the marmalade is excellent and worth the the work I'm putting into it. So I'll keep you updated. During the winter, my porch plants which are mostly succulents, all live in the workshop and it's kind of difficult. Uh, it just becomes such a mess in here over winter. But now I think our temperatures have stabilized enough that I can start moving them back to the porch, get them watered, get them cleaned up, and Darren can reclaim his space. So this would be my project for part of today and probably tomorrow since I wasn't feeling well yesterday. I'm not going to push myself to get it all done in one day. Okay, so a couple of things. Uh, earlier, I fell in the workshop pretty badly. And I seem to be okay. I'm going to be bruised and sore tomorrow. I mean, I'm already sore right now. Sometimes things happen. Anyhow, my other thing I wanted to talk about, I've had this pot or galvanized bucket for years and years and years. We've even had Carolina wrens nesting in it. But if you can see right there, it's actually rusting apart finally. So at some point, maybe this year, if I find another one or another container or next year, I'm gonna have to deal with this. And I'm really concerned because I mean, look how gorgeous this thing is. And this is my first year raising it up on bricks and it's still not high enough. They're still almost dragging the ground. So I might have to add a couple of more bricks to give it some more height. But yeah, within the next season or two, I'm going to have to deal with this. The other day when we were here installing the trail cameras, we decided to go ahead and cut ourselves a little path right there. Uh, that's what all this bamboo is because this is the one spot that was kind of sketchy. We had to go this way and then we kept going that way. And we kind of ducked under and went around and see here is the pond right here and all of this is grown up. And normally when people are making noise, gators are just gone and then they'll kind of slowly come back to see what you're doing because they are curious but this was the only spot where I ever thought if we we're gonna have problems scaring an alligator this was gonna be it so instead we made ourselves this little path and I'll try to be gentle and I'll walk through here for a second and the way see that old arch that actually the way we were kind of dipping and turning and ducking was actually the old entrance. So we'll have to adjust once we get over here, but this kind of area is definitely a mess. Monday, I made kumquat marmalade. Wednesday, I made one small batch of strawberry jam. And today, which is Friday, making my second batch of strawberry jam. It only makes like five to six jars, but that gave me time to clean the strawberries in between batches. Someone's not happy that I boiled all of her strawberries. She's pouting. You're pouting? Lucy wants a strawberry? I bet we could still find you one that's not cooked. Okay, I decided to take out both lantanas, replace both of them with rosemary 
let this rosemary do its thing and then if it dies off or gets to the point where I can stick another one in the dead spot I'll do that but for right now I'm just gonna take out those two lantanas and replace them with these rosemaries that I got <music> Hopefully it's not going to pick too much up on the uh, microphone, but right now I am doing the most tedious task uh, Besides cutting grass with a pair of scissors. I think this is like the next most tedious thing. So at some point birds um, Spread seeds of wild There's a big one wild blackberries and we've been fighting them over here for a long time well the problem is they have thorns and they make runners and thorns plus puppy equals bad idea. So Lucy actually did try to grab one of these yesterday and cutting them down just doesn't do anything. So I've got this tool that I've had for so long. I honestly don't know what its original purpose was, but the pointy tip is great for digging out weeds. So what I'm doing right now is I'm uh, crawling and crab crawling around the ground in this area by the house trying to dig up as many of these so Lucy doesn't either A, step on them or B, try to eat them. One thing I do want to mention, I was super impressed just now by the water retention of these raised hugel culture beds. Now I know this isn't traditional um, as far as using the uh, 1x12s on the outside of it, but it's what we had. Normally you would do this on, you know, just in your yard or someplace and it would be all natural uh, limbs and stuff like that, but these were upcycled these were going in the trash we got them from somebody plus since we're doing this on concrete uh i thought it would just be better to contain it but the point uh, i was trying to make is i was really impressed by the water retention the moisture retention once i got my hands in the soil uh just like about half an inch below the surface it was really moist and uh we haven't had rain in a little while so i was expecting it to all be dried out but i was super impressed by that and i really like the soil that we got uh, we were able to get by the load um, from a place not too far from here so overall really pleased i just wish my seeds were doing better i think i'm gonna have to invest more in individual plants than i had anticipated but again uh this week hasn't gone the best uh, along with my seeds, so I don't want to focus on that right now. And I just want to focus on getting the plants that I got into the ground, or in this case, I guess you could still say it's the ground, into the containers or raised beds. I guess just say planted, so we'll leave it at that. Next project is to dig out these two planters. The freeze was not kind to them. So I have to dig these out, I'm gonna put new soil, and then I got some new plants for the pollinators today while I was out. So this is next project, and then I'll show you, well here, I'll just walk over there, I'll just walk slowly. Project after those two is this really huge container right here on the corner. Again, the freeze got it, even though I did cover it. This was filled with a basket plant, uh, Calicia fragrance and it just completely froze so again I'm gonna pull all this out uh, I'm going to pull out the soil because it's needed to be changed for a while and then I'm gonna start over here with some pieces that I have left over luckily I had some of these potted in the and in the garage that survived so I'll start this over with pieces of that it is taking absolutely forever to get this dead plant out of here the roots just must go all the way through so I'm going to skip it and come back to it and do the other two. A 
Okay, so I got a salvia, a delphinium, and what is this? Some pervian? I'm probably spell uh, pronouncing that wrong. For each of these, I'm going to split this one between the two. So each pot will end up with a salvia, a delphinium, and then half of that. So it might be a tight squeeze, but I think I can get it in here. So I just had the thought that I stacked or layered these differently or incorrectly from what I should have. The white, the shortest one, all right, the white should be facing to the inside. So instead of repotting this one, I'm going to switch these out. So let's see how that goes. resistance but it definitely damaged the plants the least so all right seems are lined up seems are lined up I just need a good drink good to go to go over there and I think it needs to be lifted onto a table. I think it needs a new purpose. It's been here for years and years. I mean we've had this thing well over a decade. It's actually the old bottom of a fountain that's the top of the old fountain which is now a plant stand too. Um, we went through like two or three um, what do you call it motors filters for the fountain and we just gave up so it became planters instead. I believe it was last year. It could have been the year before. Actually, it may have been the year before. Darren built me this beautiful potting table out of uh, reclaimed rough cut boards. We got it all for free and I love it, but it has become my staging area and it's a complete mess. So at some point I'll get over here. Right now this is all the stuff I have to deal with, all the extra pots, things like that. So at some point I'll do a time-lapse video of me cleaning up this area and really show off this beautiful potting table that he made me. For right now, it's kind of like a sewing room or a craft room or something. It's just when you're working, it's really hard to keep everything um, spotless and photo worthy. So just a little behind the scenes where everything's not so neat and tidy. I broke my new rule of only buying stuff for the pollinators or for us to eat uh, the other day. I saw this ficus. It was regularly $17. It was on clearance for $4.25 at Walmart. And I couldn't resist. I knew it just needed a pot. Uh, they have a tendency to overwater their plants. So I brought it home and it's been sitting in the garage for a few days. Now I'm just giving it a slightly bigger pot with some soil and it actually wasn't that overwatered. I needed to cut off a few leaves at the bottom, but overall I'm really pleased with it. And uh, this would be good because our other ficus or our other fig, uh, what, fig, fiddle leaf fig is uh, getting kind of old and it doesn't always overwinter very well in the garage, so. This will give me a replacement in case my other one's coming to the end of its lifespan.
to report that my sweet potato starters are a complete fail. Uh, I bought a three pack of the starters at the beginning of the season, so they were super fresh. I put them in water, nothing happened. Changed the water regularly. Then I watched a video on YouTube and the guy actually cut his in half. They were doing so well. So I was like, well, let me cut them in half and give them each, each half its own uh, cup of water. Still nothing. And within the past day or so, let's see if you can see, mildew has started growing. So these are about to be tossed out right now so I can sanitize the jars for more jam. But yeah, I didn't want to just post on all the stuff that is going perfectly. Uh, my regular potatoes, the seed potatoes, are doing really well out in the containers, which are, there we go, right there, right outside our kitchen window. But yeah, the sweet potatoes did not do anything. Um, I had better luck last year with a sweet potato from the grocery store rather than buying the specialty uh, starter potatoes. Thank you.